What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I am one of your hosts. My name is Chris, and with me as always is Mike. What's going on? And Jesse. How's it going? Guys, we're so happy to be here with you, and we're going to be doing The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 2, titled The Well. The Well. This was a cool episode. So uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to do go ahead and give you guys the recap. In this episode entitled The Well... We see Carol and Morgan. We get we get some of their story now where they've been. Carol and Morgan are brought to the kingdom where they meet the kingdom's king, Ezekiel, uh, who is a mysterious leader and is hiding some secrets. Yeah, very ominous. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically what goes on. And um, a lot of interesting things happen. To go. This isn't one of those. This is, this is a nice. I think this was a nice level episode. You know, it's a sight better than last episode. Yeah, right. I mean, last one was just heart wrenching. It's still heart wrenching, yeah. and we were we were all watching the the last episode right before this one came on, and we were all just like, "God damn it!" Oh, <laughs> you know. No. Anyway, yeah. uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll just get right into um, our thoughts on on what's going on. So, Mikey, what what do you got when we saw we saw Carol and Morgan right off the get go? Yeah, well, we see um, Carol and Morgan. Obviously, Morgan's um, wheeling Carol through, um, you know, the kingdom. So um, he's kind of explaining what's going on and what, how the how the place runs. And um, he says specifically that they take care of you, and I will take care of them. I will give my services to them. So um, we see a lot of the landscape. We see a lot that they're growing plants. We see that they have goats. We see just the agriculture of everything and, and how they, um, how the place, uh, thrives. Um, as Morgan is wheeling, um, Carol, they enter a auditorium, which was kind of cool. Um, there were some passages that were written on the walls, and mm-hmm. they're all Ezekiel's quotes. Written all in, like, but, Old English and yeah, stuff. Yeah, Old English. Yeah. And obviously, when they arrive into this auditorium, they're greeted by um, Ezekiel and Shiva, who looks really cool. Yeah. And um, the cool thing for me was that we saw them right away, you know, that they introduced Ezekiel and, and, and Shiva right away. I was wondering if they were going to do that. I was wondering if they were going to... Maybe show um, Ezekiel first, and maybe they'll save uh, Shiva a little. That bit. one shot, right? That we yeah, all saw, like know, in the trailer but, and stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, it was it was it was straight to the point, and they kind of um, Carol makes her first introduction, right, uh, with Ezekiel, and how he plays off this um, kingly medieval vibe with the way he speaks and and his the tone Hazard of his stuff. words and yeah, yeah and um, how Carol plays off her sweet little innocent i don't know how to wield a gun knife bat anything yeah Yeah. teen which was um a thousand times yeah it was a thousand times uh more um she put on yeah it was worse than even the alexandria um kind of kind of act but yeah so right into it he kind of explains um you know ezekiel explains what goes on there and um yeah, I mean, from there, that's really, uh, that's really, we just got a taste. We got a taste of what what goes on there. Right, we and, got to see, we got to see, the, you know, I, and I, I said it when we were on our live reaction that we, we, I think this is the most we've seen in the kingdom. Although I haven't read that issue in a long while. I don't know, Jesse, if you might remember more than than I do. I, it's been, I've probably read it farther back than you have. I, yeah. I don't go and revisit those often. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if we. I feel like this is the most we've seen of the kingdom, you know, like I think we've seen a little bit, but not too much. I know we've seen a lot after the time skip. Yeah. I mean, it's it's all the same. It's all the same. I mean, you see the town. Look at the hilltop has the same type thing going on. They've got their crops. They've got things and stuff like that. You and know, now we know why. And we know why, yeah. You know, well, part yeah. partly why. I mean, yeah. obviously they're doing it so they can live. Um yeah. so so yeah, so I'm glad we got to see that. And we and then like you said, Mike, we got Ezekiel, you know, so why don't we why don't we call talk about Ezekiel and his comparison to the uh to the comic, you know? Yeah, Jess? that's a, that's a pretty good comparison actually. Um so in the comic you get the you get the vibe because you can't hear him. You get the vibe that he's an eccentric, kingly guy. Yeah. And um, in this one or in this episode in particular, you get two sides to Ezekiel. You get both the king side, yeah. which he shows to everybody, and then later on you get the side he shows to Carol. 
yeah. zookeeper side. We'll call it the zookeeper side. The zookeeper side. side. Yeah. Um, so he's in correlation to the comic. It's exactly spot on like the comic is. He has the um, he has the dreads. He has the staff with the sword in it, and it's just it's well done. And yeah. some of the scenes are spot on for the comics, such as the introduction of him and Shiva. Right. And um, just when he's talking with Carol and he's giving his backstory. Yeah. I I was left awestruck because yeah, the guy was, plays him so well. Yeah. That was that was a good that was that was the best. Um, obviously, they're both great actors, and that was you know not that there was too much main kind of. I mean, the Morgan Carol, uh, uh, you know, back and forth was. Was um, was was good, but yeah. I, but they're I usually so heavy. Those things, like the the shit yeah. between Morgan and Carol, so heavy. The yeah. shit with Ezekiel, he's it's just intriguing because obviously he was telling a story, and this yeah. is the first we've had of yeah. Him. And it and it and even though it had some like yeah, it was a little heavy, like his whole backstory and stuff. But yeah. and he's trying to convince Carol, and she's just not hearing it. But yeah. it was just done. It was just, he's such a great actor and he, and he's, yeah. and it's fun. It was just, I, Jesse, you mentioned that you said you had, you had a smile on your face the whole time. And yeah. Dude, I agree. Yeah. It was just, so when he was like, um, what was it? Everybody loves a King. I was yeah. like, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. It I just, like, you knew it was going into that because he says the same thing. I think it's to Michonne yeah. in the comic. He I says those so, exact yeah. lines, and that's yeah. how you knew that dialogue started. Yeah. yeah, it was great though. It was su- it was such a cool. He just seems like a really dope dude, and I'm and I'm, yeah. and again, like I said, the actor who's playing him, just amazing. You know, it, it, he just, I just, I don't, I don't know. It leaves me almost speechless because it was it was you don't you don't get those type of scenes that often in a sh- in this show. You know what I mean? Like it's just like a fun, cool scene. With some, they, yeah. it's always great acting. Just, I mean, it's just never... new characters. Yeah, uh, that's that's what you know. That's what makes it you know, kind of kind of interesting because you just want to hear so much about you know. Like I even said when Carol and when Morgan first introduced Carol, there was a big. Um, I was just kind of shocked that they that they that they showed them both Ezekiel and Shiva right off the bat, and 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 uh, and with that scene, I was kind of intrigued also about how he he told the backstory of him right away, you know, that he told, um, Carol of his past and, and what happened and how, you know, he, he got to be with, with Shiva, you yeah. know, what they've been through. Yeah. It was very interesting. Now, yeah. one Oops. little spot that I, I don't know if you guys noticed his reaction to it when Carol's like putting on her act when she first meets him and she goes, uh, the line from the commercial that's played a million times. I just don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, his, yeah. his yeah. acts like he raises an eyebrow a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he, maybe he was you know maybe he was seeing that early on how that yeah. that she was obviously playing a game, but um, maybe she was seeing it too. Which Who knows? which he calls her on. Which he, he calls, calls her on. on yeah, he calls when her they on talk, at the end, you know? when they're alone. When but but why why did they meet up in the first place? Because Carol was leaving. So yeah. even after. His speech and his his whole to do and his um, you know uh, anything that he he basically wanted to portray about the kingdom to to Carol, she still felt it in her heart that she wants to leave and um, it, you know it, it didn't matter what anybody said. So, but he did. But he did. But he did bring up a cool little thing. He says, "How about you leave, but you don't leave," meaning. Yeah. Go ahead and leave. Don't go. Don't go too far. But you, know? you can come back. So yeah. do what you got to do. But you're welcome here. Um, yeah. well, well, listen. Why don't we just? Why don't we just transition right into Carol since we're talking about them both? Um, yeah, she's she's okay. She's she's played this this part before. She's played yeah. this. I want to leave. I don't want to do this. Yeah. I'm gonna go. All I'm, last I'm, season. Yeah, I'm kind of like a little. I was a little over it. This episode, yeah. I'm kind of like, okay, we, and I hope they don't drag it out. I'm glad she went and yeah. she's over at her own place, whatever. You know, she goes to the place. She, you know, he shows up later on at the end of the episode. But I'm just, I was, I don't know about you guys, but I was kind of like, all right, I kind of don't really care if she, if she's gonna be like this. I don't fucking yeah. care. Then I don't fucking, yeah. I don't really care about her. You know, she's, excuse me, she's a she's a fantastic character, and again, she's not in the comic anymore, so it's like. What they're doing is just off their fucking heads. 
And I love it, though. I love it. I love the things that they've made her do. They've made her one of the coolest characters, in my eyes, anyway. You know, if I have to pick one of my favorites, it's her. Is she really not in the comics anymore, though, if you correlate this to another comic character? Well, okay. Her personality sort of is, and and Jesse's referring... Takes on that of somewhat Michonne. Well, I was actually going to say Andrea, because Andrea is ready to fight at any time, anywhere. Well, I just meant the fact that she became a fighter. Andrea in the yeah. comic also became a fighter and obviously is still with Rick in the comics. But yeah. in this, Carol dies very early on. Like she dies in the prison. She kills herself yeah. by you know, getting herself After eaten by Tyrese's, a walker. You know. Right. Yeah. So she, for, for the show, she just turned into a real badass. But again, this whole, this whole, oh, you know, not, I won't even say woe is me, but she's just like, all right, enough. she's feeling. She's feeling. Obviously, it all started from just um, with with her burning uh, the saviors, her and Maggie, and and just the killing came of these back. people. It's yeah. just all. Yeah, she's she just wants to. She wants to run away. Yeah. And um and there's a there's a you know it it's all it all it all caught up to her. Right. What's going? You know, we've seen it in the foot in these little in the in the beginning scene when. When the kingdom, um, when the kingdom people that rescued her and Morgan were fighting the walkers, she was seeing them in glimpses as humans and 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 as um, walkers. You know, she even even the house that she ends up staying in now for however she long. She saw the we walker look yet. like a regular she person. She saw right? the person yeah in the window, and then she sees them as the walker. So she's going through her her um, her I phases like her and stage. Her what? Yeah, Lazy. She's... Yeah. Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh, Lizzie. Season four. Uh, well, I was going to say, do you guys think that that's be- that that had a fucking real effect on her? Having to know. shoot that girl? Uh, of course it did. I mean, it all boiled down. Obviously, that was that was way did that like make her fucking now. snap where she's like, "Oh my she god, I really when fucking she did this thing it, really fucked you know? me up." This that's whole like, thing. Yeah. It forces her to confess to Tyrese. She's like dumbfounded. She that wants I, to die at that yeah. point. Yeah. And she and she admit, you know, she admits to what happened at the prison and to Tyrese. And yeah, there's just a lot, a lot that she's been holding on. She to has been. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I get it. I get it, but I'm kind of so, over I mean, it. We don't know how I'm long kind of over it a bit. I don't know. Are you, you guys know, over it? I don't know. I'm kind of, I hope it doesn't, I hope it's not this huge thing. Well, let's, um, because, because of the, the, the disparaging, disparaging, uh, storylines from the comic and this, we know in the comic Michonne and Ezekiel hook up. Carol's dead, but now that the roles are kind of reversed here in a way, you know, Carol's there with Ezekiel and Michonne is hooked up with Rick. We actually got a comment during the show from one of our fans, from one of our uh, you know, friends of the show, uh, Corso, who had asked, do you think that, you know, Carol is now going to is going to be the one to hook up with Ezekiel? That's what I was wanting to lead into. Yeah. It kind of gave you that impression, especially right. with her little smirk when he knocked on the door yeah. with the apple, you know. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate. Yeah. yeah, pomegranate. Remember? Yeah. S- sour yeah. on the outside, sweet yeah. in the middle. Yeah. So maybe he has a little uh, thing for her, and uh, let's, see, let's see. You know. I think he does. I think. I mean, yeah. do you guys think that that's something they should explore in the show? You think that's cool if they if want that route? I mean, why not? I mean, why not? You have to have some I mean, brighter, yeah. brighter sides of things compared to all the shit that we saw last week with all the devastation, yeah. you know? Yeah. But and like it said, it's the it's we're at the inf- infancy of the season, so we still got plenty more to go. Fourteen um, episodes. Yeah. Well, six more now for the you know, and then we have our little three month break again or whatever it is. But yeah, yeah no, let's let's um. Yeah, let's see what happens, you know. Let's see, you know, where where it can go. Let's see how long, like I said, let's see how long she may be in this house. Because, you know, obviously it seems like it's a little bit, it's out of the kingdom. It's, we don't know how much further this little house that Carol chooses. Not you know, too much, I guess. It can't be too far. But now, how safe is she in there by herself with Negan's men, who we see in this episode, so yeah. if you guys want to get into that with the whole bartering, because I even said it during the during the live reaction, does Negan, you know, does does Negan have the the stranglehold on the kingdom also? So we did see 
with the with the pigs, and we see the kingdom. Um, what are we calling them? The knights? What are we calling these guys? They are the knights. Yes. So we see these these the, these knights, and they're and they're um, they're hurting these pigs, and um, we see them because we were all like, "What the hell's going on with with them chewing on these walkers?" That they were plumping these pigs up with walkers walker guts. Um, I even had a couple messages from from some friends um, about we always had this big thing about the meat, the tainted meat. So at, before we realized who the knights were giving these pigs to, we were saying how um, isn't that bad for them? How can you eat that meat? How can you eat these pigs that are now munching on rotting zombie flesh? Right. So they're giving them to giving them to the kingdom now. Yeah. So we don't know what. So we don't know what that's going to do. You know, we don't yeah. know whether, because I mean, normally pigs eat shit that we wouldn't eat. But so, it's still a lot. And then we eat the pig. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So we, we don't know the extent of that. And like, you know, like yeah. you said, we'll see what happens if that's mm-hmm. going to play. Um, Cause that wasn't anything that happened in the comic. So, you know, obviously we have a more a little, we have a little more in depth yeah. in that realm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like you said, we'll see, we'll see where that goes. You know, but yeah. we definitely we definitely saw that Ezekiel handles the saviors in yeah. his own way. Like he still he doesn't bow down to them. He he's still Ezekiel. He's like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this for my people. You got what you needed. Now you go. Yeah. This isn't ha- so. Yeah. You know, one of the one of the saviors picks a fight with Richard, uh, the knight, and um, I, I was wanting to call him Richard Lionheart for some Richard reason. Richard Lionheart. Yeah. yeah. Um. So they, yeah, he picks a fight with him, and and you know, and and, and I like Richard. I like him. I like his yeah, bravado. Yeah. But he's not. He's not yeah. really a dick. But he's. But he's. You know, he knows the what's fake, what. The fake. The fake governor. The fake. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Mikey says he looks like the yeah, governor. I, I say he's he a cross between the governor yeah. and Gerard Butler. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we're on the same page there with that one. Yeah. Right. So so it's kind of like he he picks. You know. So this one this one douchebag decides to pick a fight with him, and Richard kind of takes him to school a bit. And then and then that savior gets some free shots in because you know. But Ezekiel yeah. was even Ezekiel like Ezekiel allows it. He allowed yeah. it, Ezekiel and that was and that kind it. of annoyed me. But he's he's showing the deference, and he's like, look, look, I don't want to trouble. Whatever, yeah, your, your man did his dumb shit. Now yeah. go, get out of here. And the savior seemed like he was like, okay, you know, listen, because when um, the save that that one savior looked like he just kept wanting to beat on Richard a little bit. And even Ezekiel was like, "Tell your man." I forgot they get, he said the name of the yeah, of the, like, the head the fuck, savior man. guy there. He's a savior who cares. He's like, "Listen, tell him to stop." And he's like, "You know." So there's some kind of a respect. Well, yeah, he even says, "Give the man respect." He does this for us. Yeah, no problems. yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that th- there's a thin, thin line when when it comes to respect. And that they just want their pigs. Yeah. You know, the saviors yeah. just want their food. Or but, whatever they're going to get. Because remember, he said the next they, one yeah, is produce. Is so you better produce. produce. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I mean, so we got we got um we got a little bit more into so into all, the kingdom. So, and, yeah. So we got so we so we got we got all the information that we wanted to get. Yeah. Who are they? How would they fit in with the with the mm-hmm. in this world with the saviors? And yeah. you know what what are we getting with them? So we got that. But let's yeah. let's move on to Morgan. Um. Morgan being Morgan, I think the biggest thing from this episode was his his trying to tell Carol, hey, look, this is a good place. You should just stay here, get well. We could help these people. Mm-hmm. And, of course, she says what, you know, her little things. Um, and then Ezekiel yeah, asks yeah. him to train. Uh, what's ben? the guy's? What? I think it was Ben. Benjamin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we see true. we see a little training sequence where Benjamin was to take out a walker with some you know with uh, with a with a machete, like a machete and that, or, that yeah. doesn't work. He tells Morgan, "Listen, he's not good with a machete or a gun. You know, maybe you can train him on the bow staff. Teach him what you know. Teach him a keto. Teach him teach him what you know." So Morgan reluctantly does it. What? Training Ben Kenobi. Training yeah, Ben right? exactly. Yeah. Um, the kid takes to it though, and um. So, of course, I made the comment during the live reaction, you know, is this kid dying the next episode? You know what I mean? Because that's just, he's basically a red shirt. All right. Can we just, can we call it what it is? He's a red shirt. All right. And he's going to Star Wars and Star Trek in one episode. Exactly. He's going to, he's going (laughs) to, and about the same character. He's going to get, he's probably going to get killed, but that's just my prediction. But um, I kind of like him. He takes care of his, he takes care of his little brother since his, his father had, uh, you know, base, you know, 
no pun intended, you know, bit it. And which um, kind of gives us like a way, Hey, he got backstory. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's what they do. So Morgan's been training him. He, you know, he wants to know if he could borrow Morgan's book, which is the book that his master quote unquote, had yeah, given like the him. learner's guide to Akita. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and which, by the way, quick note, I was thinking back to his teacher in that whole episode, and I was like, it's really cool that they made that dude his teacher. You yeah, know? Eastman. Yeah, you know, he just, he wasn't, he wasn't like a normal, uh, I'm sorry, he was a normal dude. He wasn't like a guy yeah. that did that for Jeez. a living. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I just, I just had that little memory, and that was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, you know, again, nothing great. There was a moment when the, when the saviors, when they were giving, uh, when they, when that whole little fight with Richard and the savior happened, you know, he pulls his gun like everyone else does. Yeah. And he looks and he's like, wait a minute, why the fuck did what I just am I do doing? that? Yeah, yeah. Like why, you know? So, so could there be, will, is he kind of like, Oh shit, I hope I don't now that I'm with this Turn group, back. I hope I don't go back to, yeah. the, I don't think he wants to, you know? Well, he even so, yeah. says his way is not always right. Yeah. 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 The kid wants to, you know, borrow the book, like we said, and, and, and he, they, they have this brief conversation about, um, how like Aikido doesn't mean to kill or, or means to, to not kill. And, you know, yeah. and I noticed that you weren't eating meat at dinner and you know, yeah. what is, what is your deal? Is that is, you know, and so um, things yeah. aren't, things aren't black and white for, for Morgan either. I think he, I think as like Carol, which is, which is a really cool thing because there's a dichotomy there, but at the same time, they're very similar because they're both go. He's still yeah. going through his shit, Morgan. Yeah. They're both facing their own demons. Exactly. Just, yeah. You know, so now, um, do you want to take a stab real quick? Because that kid did not get trained in one day. How long do you guys think that took? That was I. He, uh, Morgan had a had at least two different had the one outfit that he that we saw on, and then another. So he had two outfits on during that training Maybe, sequence. I don't think it was anything like significant. You know, it was at least more than it was more than one day. They and they showed it by yeah, changing I don't, in outfits. Yeah, I, Carol also healed in that time, and though. she healed. So you have to imagine that it's at what at a, least at least a week and a half, at least a week, yeah, something like that. I and the fact that she was up and walking, yeah, I assume that she she's still limping, she's still hurt, yeah, she's still yeah, not, so. not a hundred, but yeah, I think it was um, a little later. Yeah. Um, guys, I mean, <clears throat> I was gonna say we don't want to beat a dead horse, but um, you know, and then I was then I was gonna make a comment that there's yeah. a lot of horses in this, and then I was gonna make a comment that there's dead pigs. We we saw and dead, dead horse. horses, yeah, yeah, and dead horses. <laughs> um, I mean, I think we hit all the major points. Um, I I want to just uh, I, I want to say I'm really excited for this for this season. I am. Be- because just seeing Ezekiel, seeing Negan, the saviors, knowing what's gonna ha- like, knowing what happens in the comic, but just knowing what what the potential in this TV show could be. Yeah. I'm just really excited to see, cause it's yeah. so cool to see Ezekiel and it's so cool to see him played so fucking well to see JDM fucking perform Negan so well yeah. and all yep. the favorite characters. So we got, so if you watch the preview for the next season, we were all pissed off because it's next like, episode. it's, it's uh episode. Sorry. It's about, you know, Daryl's incarceration now with Negan. And it's like, Oh, come on. They got him in this fucking jumpsuit, straight jacket thing. Like, yeah, you know, and it's like, God damn it. You know, we're, we're really seeing our, our favorites, you know, which is great because it pushes the show. Yeah, along. Mike's like, last week, mine next week. Yeah. We've got Rick. Yeah. Rick with Mike and Daryl with Jesse. And, and it's just so, like, I don't know. It's just, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, so they're half going off the comic, half on their own, you yeah. know. Uh, There's so many characters now that aren't alive or don't exist in the comic. You can't really go straight by it. Yeah, and they're writing them really well. I, I so a lot yeah. of times they're not written great because I don't know, you know what I mean? Like look at yeah. look at the last season of Game of Thrones where that just uh, it was an amazing season, but it was it was a Hollywood season. All right, let's yeah. let's be honest. It wasn't a book season. It was a it was a Hollywood season because they were off book, so that shit was very cinematic. More so, like very there was a lot of there was a lot of jumping. Time you felt jumping it. You felt stuff. it was yeah. like a Hollywood thing. It wasn't. It was, I, I was yeah, like, wow, yeah. this thing moved really quickly. It moved really quickly because it that's did. they well, know. Let's not make shows season. here now, guys. Yeah. Anyway, but anyway, yeah. So we'll we'll get there, guys. Don't you worry about that. Third person will get there when the time comes. But um, yeah. Yeah. but I mean, uh, next winner. Oh Jesus Christ, it's so long. Next winner, yeah, it's right. So long. We got plenty. Of, we got plenty to talk about. Don't worry. Or next summer. I think um, next any all right. So yeah. anything, any any last little tidbits, guys? Anything we noticed? Can I give a shout out to Jerry? To our man Jerry, with oh, the battle yeah. axe, with the double headed battle axe, and he's yeah. he's always in, he's always in shouting range, and he's like deuces. Yeah. 
There's a... yeah, I like yeah. that guy. Poor, he's gonna die. He's, the, gonna die. he's the, literally oh a red shirt. He's literally yeah. a red shirt. Yeah, he's literally. got a red fucking shirt. So he's dead. Yep. Sorry, sorry, Jerry, yeah. you're dead. <laughs> um, It'll be fun while you last. Yeah, I like him though. I like him. He's cool. Yeah. He'll like go him. out with the peace sign while he's getting <laughs> eaten or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Walker will bite his fingers off. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, my thing. My my one last thing to say is. I think it's really cool that we're starting to see so many more um, uh, characters, c- civilized, ci- oh. like civilizations. You know, it was always it was always a big mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was out there? Yeah. In past in past seasons, until we started really getting. I mean, obviously we had Woodbury and this and that, but we never truly knew. But they were right away the that. enemy. They were right away yeah. the enemy. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, more or less. Once once we got to Alexandria. I mean, you kind of thought that they may be here. If you're not a comic reader, you know, we, you know, the, the, the regular viewer that just watches the show would think, hey, maybe they're here, you know, possibly for a long time. How, right. Where can they go from there? But now we see that there's so much more out there. There's so many more groups out there. Um, I wish that they would. One thing that would be so cool is I always said that they should do somewhat of an intro of. Let's see a glimpse of England, you know, and what's going. You know, yeah. let's see a glimpse of. I always That's thought more that fear would be the Walking Dead. Yeah, in a way, but I always thought even before um, fear even came, I always you wanted to see the game. rest of the I world. You wanted to, to the very isolated. The yeah, part. they're very isolated. You know I mean? Yeah, and for a good reason. It makes you feel isolated in the show. Well, I agree yeah, well, because because in the beginning, you know, there were, we we never we pretty much thought there was nobody else. You know, for yeah. the most part, that's like the, the way they do it. Yeah, just yeah, that's the way they walkers, certainly did it. You know what I mean? And obviously, it's the, the the evolution of that over these last three seasons, four seasons, when we start introducing all these these new places and these new um, civilizations that are that are that are going on. That there's a lot more survivors than we ever thought. You know, so I always just thought that would be a cool little thing. If we imagine that, I th- I would think that would be so cool if you saw how people in Italy are handling it or something mm-hmm. or. Yeah. You know, just glimpses. I China or Australia or some of these places. You know, I just wonder wonder how um, the rest of the world is. And now that we have that evidence that there are a lot of striving people and thriving people, that there's got to be a lot more. You know, people alive that we ever expected. Yeah, you know, you know keep the... giving AMC ideas. They'll make fear the fear of the Walking Dead. Fear of the fear of the Walking Italians. <laughs> uh... They would. Yeah, not even not even like a whole huge episode or something, but even if they showed like a cool little like well, don't forget, but don't forget, but don't forget that's what these those the web series are. There's been multiple, yeah. multiple web series is well, that had the, one, the, the plane. The plane. The nope, there was another one where it was in it was like in a hospital. Um Yeah, that was for the Walking Dead. That's where we get to see the origin of don't open or don't dead open inside. Yeah. And um uh and then now there's that passenger one that's been playing on here. Yeah. But that's also they say that's fear the Walking Dead, right? They say yeah, fear the, fear walking, the walking Dead, dead passenger, oriented. or something. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. So we we have seen little little things. But I just want to um, agree with it's you about the, the yeah. show opening up because when when they were Carol and Ezekiel were talking, and I'm thinking how how cool it is to see this, and I'm like, wow, that's you know what? I had the same thought. Like everything's been so isolated. It's really nice to to now be in these other areas and how. You know, just like Jesus says in the comic, he goes, "Wow, guys, you're in for a treat. Your whole world is about to is about to uh, expand." Like, I mean, don't quote me on that, but it was event- essentially that's, that's what he what said. He says, he says your whole world is about Jesus to change. When he said that. Yeah, and I was like, "Well, that's crazy." And then they show he shows them the hilltop, and they see it over the yeah. the ridge, and it's just like that's what it is. And he says that in the show too, actually, mm-hmm. right? I believe he does. Yeah, and he that's says it, yeah. That's the whole point, you're right, you know? So I agree, man. It's like it's been so isolated and I'm kind of tired of them running around the woods. They need yeah. to be there needs to be. But that's the testament to Kirkman and, and and all the writers that, you know, that's the way the comic went and that's what they're doing with which is yeah. why they 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 need to follow the comic. They need to baseline yeah. from the comic because the comic is amazing in pushing that whole thing. After this Negan arc, we know, you know, the comic readers know what's going to happen. It's going to, it's going to be, and I cannot wait because this show can go on for at least ten seasons and not be stale. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. 
I, and, you know, and, and sadly, I know a bunch of people have dropped off The Walking Dead because they're like, it's the same fucking thing, and I'm bored of them being in the woods, and, oh, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. Okay, well, great, then whatever, then go watch something else, but... Yeah. What know. other zombie show are you going to watch that's entertaining and has this great of actors? Exactly. I'm waiting for 24, colon, Zombieland or something. That'd be fucking yeah. great if they set 24 like like an offshoot, you know? Yeah, Jack Bauer back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, Twenty Four Legacy is starting soon. I want to check that out. That'd be cool. Anyway, uh, Jesse, anything you got? You got anything? Any last little tidbits Just, that you I noticed? I love the actors. That's, I've mentioned that like three times. Fantastic, right? So good. I liked everybody. I liked it, yeah. and I kind of wanted to be annoyed with Benjamin. I was like, oh god, not not another one of these young. I called him Shaggy. Long, yeah, like l- l- young, long, greasy-haired guys. Uh, and I was like, ah, he's he's kind I, of all right. <laughs> Uh, when he first yeah. spoke, I expected him to go, Oh, geez, Scoop! Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus, thank you. Aww. <laughs> and um, we didn't really mention it. We briefly did, but Shiva, looking looking pretty hot. Really cool. Looking, Fantastic. Looking pretty good. We yeah, we really I think cool. we agree that it's half green screen and possibly half CGI. Yeah, when she does like the little tricks and stuff, probably CGI. Yeah, yeah. I, um, but really... Good, good stuff. And they didn't show her a lot. They showed her at the end. Ding dong. Roar. That was a doorbell yeah. at the very end of the episode uh, when he goes there with the palm, the, uh-huh. you know, the palm and juice. Yeah. Um, is that it, guys? I think that's it, right? I think that's we it. Don't wanna, we don't want to. We don't want to go crazy. Good episode. Fun episode. Not again. Not a whole lot, but we got a. a we got a, a nice, a nice introduction. I'm, I'm happy. I feel fulfilled. I don't know about you two, but I feel yeah. fulfilled. With that, I'm ready to move on. Like, I'm ready mm-hmm. to, you know, let's have Ezekiel. Let's move them on. Let's see what's going on next. Um, yeah. Next episode is, like we said, uh, Daryl. And then we finally get back to the, like, Rick's group. Yep. Oh, that might happen that, next hopefully. week. That might happen next week, too. Maybe. Maybe you, know, you can't, all, you can't do all of Daryl. I mean, I guess you We get you to could, see Dwight but... next week, too. So More of Dwight. And let's see. What, hey, remember, remember uh, we predicted, you know, Dwight and Daryl might, you know, have that little... Uh, where where in the comic Dwight was the the guy well, that went see against him. Negan. He makes uh, Daryl get down and bow. So yeah, Dwight. So even in the incoming attractions, Dwight's looking at him, look or yeah. already looking at Negan, like kind of hate you. <laughs> well, he saw his what? Um, yeah. Uh, well, spoiler alert. Did that for <laughs> yeah. the comic readers. Anyway, we'll put um, a spoiler warning on the screen. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, I think that'll do it uh, for us here at Third Person. Once again, I've been one of your hosts, Chris. Mike. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I, I don't normally say your name at the end. You say it yourself. Yes, you do. You no, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, that was do. a bad lead-in. That's all right. Yes, it's cool. this is Mike. Yes, and that's Mike. I'm Jesse. No, that, that's Jesse. I don't know why I say that. They could see our fucking names underneath there. It's just, it's just like saying. Anyway, this has been Third Person. We are the Third Person Podcast. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, again, if you want to get to us, look at the thing down there. Down that. There we go. That that way, down below. Third Person Pod. Check us out. Thank you for everyone who's listening. Thank you for everyone who, uh, you know, gives us comments and stuff while we're watching the show. And um, everybody in the comment section, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, we love having these conversations with you. So please, please, please keep it up. And we will keep answering you. You guys are he awesome. He has a list a mile long, guys. I do. I do. I do indeed. Uh, thank you so much, guys. And we will see you next episode. So peace out. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>